Want to know who your new TV Teen Titans are? We've got the exclusive on today's Nerdist News. TNT and Warner Brothers are bringing the Teen Titans back to the small screen in live action form for the first time. But who will make up the roster this go round? We here at Nerdist News have got the exclusive details on who you can expect to see when the Titans return to TV. And here they are. Come. First up is everyone's favorite boy wonder and perennial team leader, Dick Grayson. While in the current draft of the script, Dick is still using his Robin identity. We hear he'll eventually become Nightwing. As it stands, he's dealing with his Batman breakup by serving as a private detective in Boston. Yeah, Boston. The actual city, not Bloodhaven, the fictional DC version. Like many of the finer details in the pilot script we saw, this is likely to change. Though I wouldn't necessarily mind seeing Robin prowling through the Southie, beating on carjackers and other bad guys. Wicked. But I digress. Next up, a more surprising addition, as she hasn't really been a proper member of the Titans, Barbara Gordon, aka Batgirl. Though Babs isn't using her other name, Oracle, she will be wheelchair bound in the pilot script, making her the team's resident computer hacker. Does that mean the Joker is running around this universe shooting teens square in the spinal column? We can only hope. And there's another surprising addition to the team, though these two are at least stock members, Hawk and Dove, specifically the Hank Hall female Don Granger versions. Though their relationship is a romantic one, expect them to otherwise be quite different from the characters you know in the comics. Then filling in the darker side of the team, none other than Raven, that lovable, demonic, interdimensional teleporting empath. She'll be the Rachel Roth version of the character from Jeff John's early 2000s run. And finally, from way out in outer space, Starfire, the alien princess, as well as Raven, appears as a button at the very end of the pilot script, but expect her to become a major part of the team. Also expect a love triangle, as we wouldn't be surprised to see her comic book romance with Dick Grayson, who's also pretty into Barbara Gordon. And that's it, folks, your new TV Teen Titans. You may have noticed that major players Cyborg and Beast Boy weren't mentioned. Sadly, they don't show up in the pilot, but there's definitely room for them to appear later on down the road. And since TNT and the CW are both owned by the same company, it seems feasible that we could see Arsenal or even Wally West drop by sometime. Does this confirm an existing Batman in the Flash Arrow universe? Batman? Yeah. Uh, why the hell not? There you have it. But what do you guys think? Happy with this lineup? Excited for crossover possibilities with Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, and the rest of the DC TVU? Let me know in the comments below! Click on my battering and subscribe to keep getting more sweet exclusive news like this! Weird Al tied me up and it wasn't weird, then he revealed who the secretive nine nerd overlords are on What the Fridays, and then head on over to Nerdist.com for even more Nerdist news. Hey Meckler, catch!